Is it not strange, Ventidius, he could so quickly cut the Ionian Sea and take in Turin? You've heard of it, sweet? Celerity is never more admired than by the negligent. Mm. <laughs> A good rebuke. <laughs> and one that would become the best of men to taunt at slackness. <laughs> Ventidius. We will fight with him by sea. By sea? What else? Why will my lord do so? Or that he dares us to it. <laughs> So hath my lord dared him to single fight. Your ships are not well manned. Your mariners are muleteers, reapers, people engrossed by swift impress. By sea, by sea. <laughs> Most worthy, sir. You therein throw away the absolute soldiership you have by land. Distract your army, which for the most part doth consist of war-marked footmen. Nay, I'll fight with him. By sea. <laughs> I have sixty sails. Seas are none better. Our overplus of shipping we will burn. And with the rest, full manned from the head of Actium, beat the approaching Caesar. But if we fail, we then can do it at last. <laughs> Thy business. The news is true, my lord. He is descried. Caesar has taken Torin. He be there in person. Tis impossible. <laughs> Ventidius, our nineteen legions thou shalt hold by land, and our twelve thousand horse wheel to our ship away, my Thetis. A noble emperor, do not fight by sea. Trust not to rotten planks. Do you misdoubt this sword and these my wounds? Let the Egyptians and the Phoenicians go a ducking. We have used to conquer standing on the earth and fighting foot to foot. Uh, well. I think I'm in the right. Soldier thou art. Our leaders led, and we are women's men. The speed of Caesar's carries beyond belief. Taurus. My lord. Strike not by land. Keep hold. Provoke not battle till we have done at sea. Our fortune lies upon this jump. Send we our squadrons on yon side of the hill in eye of Caesar's battle, from which place we may the number of his ships behold. <laughs> 